Hey guys, I got some more of this German technology that uh, Adrian Weber gave me a couple of weeks ago when I passed through uh, Frankfurt Airport. We kind of met up and did some swapping. This is a uh, Winkhaus XR51. And let's take a look at the lock itself. Beautiful lock, nice and heavy, very heavily constructed. Not a lot of engraving on it, so I don't even, I don't know what that DP means. It might be the model or whatever, I don't know. But uh, the point is that this can't be removed or disassembled. If you look at the brass, there's no break in what are supposed to be C-clips. So this lock is permanently assembled at the factory and apparently can never be disassembled. Uh, very nice. It is a y, what looks to be a Y keyway, but it is not. It's very close, but not quite. Um, really nice lock. So let's, uh, let's take a look at the key, show you what the bidding looks like. And it's only five pins, but what, can we get this to focus? What a five pins. Take a look at that. And this has given me a lot of entertainment. Believe me, this lock is not, has not been easy to figure out because I, I went in with some wrong assumptions and uh, it ended up getting me into a lot of trouble. Uh, I'll explain what those are. The, the, this is full of security pins. There are five security pins in this lock. Five pins, all security. But they're not spools and, and they are not mushrooms. Instead, I believe, without disassembling, I can't be sure, but I believe that they are all serrated pins. And so once I got that in my head uh, and started picking it as if it were a serrated pinned lock, like an American padlock, for example, uh, things went a little smoother for me. So I guess it taught me a lesson. Uh, don't make too many assumptions, especially <laughs> when they're wrong, like it was on this lock. So let's shut up, Bill. Let's start picking. As with all serrates, uh, keep light tension, and you can't overset them. So just be very gentle and basically feel for the clicks. So I'm going to have to start from the front. This pick, by the way, it's not a thick, it's not a wide material. This is a, one of the Peterson Euro picks, but, the, but it's the thin one. It's made from 15 thousandths, and you can see it's, they're not very tough. These are delicate picks. And I'm a little rough sometimes, and when you put too much torque, you'll bend your pick, as I did this one. So uh, the downside, of course, is that there's not a lot of feedback from these. So you got to watch it. It's like picking a lock with a piece of tin foil sometimes. So let's see if we can get this done. Just feel for the clicks, looking for a binder, and then see if we can put one click on it and just move from there. It's almost like picking a combination lock sometimes. Here, got a binder. Here we go. Just feel around, trying to find the next one. Everybody's springy. Everybody's springy. Nobody wants to be first, it seems like. I'm trying to find a fault set so we can get started on this thing, but as I said, with serrated, sometimes it's not that easy. And I went into this thinking that Vinkhaus is full of spool pins, uh, because that's what I had read on YouTube, and I just figured that was the way it was going to be. But uh, fortunately, that didn't work out so well for me. I've got a, two of them set. I believe I have pin four set. This feels like he locked into place. And I believe I have pin three set. That was pin two. I'm moving up to... I'm sorry, that was pin three for sure. Now I'm moving to pin two. See if I can do something with him. Without breaking my pick, I hope. You can hear the clicks, I believe. I can certainly feel them. Let's go to the back and see what they're doing back there. 
maybe I'm over focused on the front. I got a binder. I believe it's pinned too, but I just can't get the pick on him. It keeps sliding off there. All right. Get on there, you devil. Let's try the back again. Look, now I'm caught. There we go. We got a nice fault set. Uh, I believe that was pin two. I think the only one I haven't picked is five. And there we go. We got to open. Fellas, these are, uh, I believe, all five serrated pins. That's certainly what it feels like, and that's the feedback. The thing is, these Vinkaus are manufactured with a lot more precision than the American padlocks. There's just no slop in these things, and you probably heard me drop pins a couple of times. If you release too much on the tension, you're going to lose it. And that's what happened to me. I think I dropped about two pins uh, during the picking. And so it was kind of sloppy, but uh, you really have to watch that tension. Anyway, we just lost power here in the hotel. I am still in Brazzaville, Congo. And uh, the generator is going to kick on any second. Anyway, <laughs> everybody, thanks for your time. Everybody stay safe and uh, stay legal. <laughs>